Hey what's up guys, Lavish from Feature VFX here. So today in this video, I'll tell you how I calibrate my YouTube videos from this to this. So guys, the software I'll be using is Premiere Pro and uh, before diving into it, let me tell you about my camera and settings. I use Sony a7 III and the lens I use is 28mm f2 and my current settings uh, in my camera are at, uh, I'm shooting at Sony S-Log3 and my ISO is at 800. My aperture is at 2.0 and I'm shooting at 4K 24fps and so my shutter speed is at 50. So guys, these are my settings. Let's dive into Premiere Pro. Okay guys, here we are in Premiere Pro. Now guys, before editing, make sure your footage is shot in S-Log. It may be S-Log 2 or S-Log 3. My steps will work for both. And guys, make sure when you shoot with S-Log, overexpose your footage a little bit. Open the Lumetric scopes and make sure you have set it to waveform RGB. Now guys, listen to me very carefully. Those who do not know what this means, you do not have to go deep into this. You basically want this waveform to start from 0 and end at 100. Now it's starting from 20 and ending at around, sorry, it's starting from 20 and ending at around 80. So you need to color correct the footage keeping in mind the waveform here should start from 0 and end at 100. This means that when you do this, you get the maximum dynamic range in your footage. Now guys, I always start with the color wheels in Lumetric, panel, Lumetric color panel. Now see the footage here. Lowering the shadows and midtones here and increasing the highlights will kind of bring our footage back to life. After that, I always go in the RGB curve and make a small S curve to increase the contrast in the footage. After that guys, we will start with the main work here and we'll go to the basic color correction panel and we'll adjust white balance and tone of the footage. Now this depends totally on how you shot, shot the footage, but I'll show you how I did it. Now I always start with the whites and blacks while keeping in mind the Lumetric scope on the left. And then I'll increase the contrast a bit more and will change the highlights and shadows to see how my footage folds up. Now guys, see on my face, there's a bit too much light and I want to decrease that. So what I will do is decrease the shadows and guys look now, my face looks more natural. Now guys, I always increase the saturation of my footage to around 120 or 130, basically whatever number suits my video. After that guys, I want my footage to look warm, so I'll increase the temperature to around 6 or 7, but definitely not too much. Tint maybe minus 1 or minus 2, whatever you see fit. Okay guys, now I'll go to the creative panel and guys, I want to say that I always increase my sharpness to 40 or 45. And do remember the Lumetric scopes while you are in the creative panel too. Because now what we'll do is add a LUT which is already in your Premiere Pro software and I think it is called Fuji Eterna 250D or Fuji 350 and now you can see the footage has an orange or yellow kind of color which basically helps us to make a skin color more pop out and you can also see that it's a bit too much so we'll decrease the intensity of the LUT to 50% I always increase the faded film to around 20 because it looks good on the shadows I guess yes and I increase the saturation to around 115 and you can adjust whatever value you see fit. After that guys you can see my wall back there and I want that color not to be so much yellowish and uh, so what I'll do is go to the highlight tint here and we'll move the cursor away from yellow. After that guys we just need to make the footage look good. So to do that we'll go to the curves adjustment and then in the red section we'll increase the curve just a tad bit, not too much. Then guys, we'll go to the blue curve, blue curve and we'll also do the same here. Again, check your footage, how it looks. I don't want you to copy me guys, but basically just learn the steps, what I'm doing actually. Okay guys, after that, I want to do the vignette section. I want to go to the vignette section and uh, I don't want vignetting to be too much. And uh, I guess here, just minus 0.1 would be actually enough. And increase the feather as much as you like and you should increase it. Guys, after that, I just want to go to the color wheels once again and maybe give the footage a reddish tone. Yes. And and that's it, guys. This is how you calibrate your S-Log footage. So, guys, if you found the video useful, 
do like the video comment on the video and guys do subscribe to my channel i'll be posting more tutorials on color grading and premiere pro so make sure you follow up with my channel peace